Hey, this is Digital by Computing, and today we're gonna to look at PFSense, and we wanna look at how to blacklist a particular website. So we're logged here into PFSense. We're assuming that you already have PFSense installed and configured. Uh, I do have another video guide on how to do that, so feel free to have a look at that if you wanna know how to do this. And we're gonna go and look at Squid and Squid Guard to be able to control, uh, essentially setting up a proxy uh, within PFSense to allow you know to control traffic. So within your PFSense login, you wanna go into System and Package Manager. And under Available Packages, you're gonna look for two programs, Squid, S-Q-U-I-D, and Squid Guard. S-Q-U-I-D, G-A-U-R-D. So Squid and Squid Guard. So go ahead and put those in here. Um, they're not gonna show up in my list because I already have them installed, but you'll see that you can easily look at a whole bunch of packages that are available to install into PFSense. Once you've installed Squid Guard and Squid, you click on, you know, obviously, once you've selected them, sorry, you click on install, and then it'll go and install that package nice and easy. And you'll see that under my installed packages. Once that loads, you'll see that I've got a few packages in here, including Squid and Squid Guard. All right, it gives you a little bit of a description here of what, um, what each of those two systems are. So Squid is essentially your proxy, and your Squid Guard is your proxy URL filter. Now, once that is installed, you will now see them under services. So under the services tab, you click on that and you'll see a few different options. You've got a squid proxy server, a squid reverse proxy and a squid guard proxy filter. So the squid proxy and reverse proxy will come part of the squid package and then the squid guard proxy will be, uh, you know, come as part of your squid guard installation. So. Uh, we're assuming that you've got computers on your network and that you've got your proxy settings already configured on your web browser uh, because essentially you'll need your computers going via your proxy server, which will be our squid server here uh, to be able to obviously filter your web traffic and block certain things. So you want to make sure that you're, um, you know, on your, if I've got a uh, Internet Explorer settings in here, under our connections and LAN settings, I've got my proxy server in here configured with my proxy IP address, and you can also configure the um, you know the host name if you so want to, or create a DNS entry called proxy, um, for example, um, with the port 3128 as your default port, which can be changed if you so need to. But as long as you have your proxy server settings configured, um, you will allow obviously the proxy uh, to be hit when you do go via a web browser, all right? So then within our PFSense area here, under the services area, we're gonna go into Squid Guard Proxy Filter once that has been installed, and you're presented with this login screen in here, and then you've got target categories. So within target categories, in here you can create your particular groups of um, essentially allowed and disallowed blacklist, whitelist, um, websites that you can control. So we're gonna go and create a brand new one here, and we're gonna call it Blocked Sites, nice and easy. And then we put in our domain list. So these are the list of domains that I want blocked um, if this particular ACL, this particular group is um, you know accessed. So I'm gonna say I wanna block facebook.com, I wanna block youtube.com, uh, what else can I block that uh, will waste people's time? Twitter.com, etc. I can put all my list of all of my uh, URLs, my domains in here, including IP addresses, uh, so that when this is hit, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter will be blocked and will be inaccessible. So I can then give it a particular description name if I want to, and then click on save. And that is now listed a new entry under tag categories called block sites. So that essentially is just a, a, a group that I've now created with all of my block sites in here. I now can go into common ACL and under target rules, I click on plus and I've now got under here a new category called blocked sites. So this block sites currently has got no action against it. 
So I can click in the drop down and I've got a few options. I can whitelist these websites, I can allow the websites or I can deny these websites. So in this scenario, we wanna deny those websites. So it's gonna deny the block sites, which, which we've set up in target categories. And that is it. So I can now save that. And once that's done in your general settings, you obviously wanna make sure that your squid guard is active and that you've started it. And once you've done that, you will click on apply and that will actually apply those settings into SquidGuard and have it activated. So most of the time that will work straight away. So you can easily go and now test that and you'll see that those particular websites are blocked nice and easy. So that is my summary. I would love it if you commented below to let me know your thoughts. Also by you commenting helps me to spread my uh, website and my YouTube channel out there so that people can know more about digital bike computing and we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, just on the button there for more videos.